Welcome back. This time I'd like to show you one particular software that I've used uh, a few times and I'll show you where I actually got it. It's quite difficult to find. And this is the website, it's called smallvideosoft.com. The, the website that I'm, the software is this particular one, it's called Free Screen Video Capture. If you download it, as I'm about to do when you press download, uh, goes down there and you go right down primary video capture download and nice it comes up tells you where to save the file I save it on the um, desktop you can see it already on the desktop I've got some other piece of software so I'm going to cancel that and we're going to install this program and see how it actually works Yes, we say yes to this. Be careful. Once again, there's the uh, welcome. Tells her where we're going to install it. Tells her how much memory. Uh, create. And it's going to launch it. Cancel that. And if you press record, it starts recording. Once you exit, <laughs> it records fairly quickly. So what we want to do now is we want to see how it actually works. Go to options, normal screen, fixed screen, video, video quality. So tells you the video, uh, tells you the record audio, uh, pause, you can select which button, minimize, on recording um, so I'm just gonna drop down the audio I'm not gonna record the audio uh, so as you can see normal screen You select your screen. I'm going to select all the screen. This is a good thing about this program. Uh, and it's actually recording. I believe it is. Well, let's uh, install another piece of software. So we've actually recorded. We want to see how it works. I'm going to my web browser. Um, this one is a well-crafted software. It's the it's classic whiteboard. Um, you download this and once you download it, you'll see that. Now what's good about it, doing it? I've used it in some of my old YouTube videos. Well, um, you can use it as a board. So let's say we want to teach uh, x plus 2 equals 10. So we uh, can teach the kids. We take away 2 from both sides. Whatever we do on one side, we do on the other side. So that becomes x is equal to 8. Okay, you get your duster and uh, you remove it. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Uh, we select the blue. So we're going to have a look at uh, doing fractions. Okay, I call this my famous move. So how do you do this? Well, I say to the kids, well look, this is how we do it. We uh, select uh, this number two here. Can you see that? We're going to multiply it with uh, the uh, denominator. So that's two times three. Okay. And then we take this and we multiply by that. That's three. We take this one, we'll cross multiply it across there. And that's plus two. So I'm just going to go back to black. Two times three is six. Three plus two, five. Pretty good, the whiteboard, isn't it? 
obviously your handwriting is, isn't the best way of doing it and um, we'll, I'll show you later on how we can actually use Word to do this uh, the good thing about it is uh, there it is, we uh, remove it uh, you could use this in class and um, of course you could be recording this in class so you don't have to uh, spend time if you did record it you don't have to record it with any audio that is sound you could just record the video and then you can uh, go over it let's do another example uh, here's one on Pythagoras uh, quite often we tell the students oh, that wasn't done really well kids laugh so this is a right angle triangle and you say to them all right What's the first thing you have to find? Well, the first thing is to find the long side, and we need to call that C. Uh, we should have put some measurements in it, so we're going to have 3 here, we're going to have 4 here, uh, and so we want to find C. So, it doesn't matter what we call the others, we'll call this A, and we'll call this B. So now we write down our Pythagoras equation. So it's C square equals A square plus B square. C square equals 3 square. Terrible handwriting, isn't it? 4 square. 3 square means 9 plus 16, 25. And that's C square. And this is where Pythagoras worked out how to get rid of the C square. And what he did, he took the square root of both sides. And so we say C is equal to the square root of 25, which happens to be 5. So it's a pretty nice little uh, application, all for free. And you could save it. Well, the only sad thing is you can't actually save what you're doing there, but you get the idea. So I'm going to minimize this, and I'm bringing up my screen. I'm going to stop it. Now, it actually saves it. We're going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to give it a name. Um, testing out a free screen. Freeze screen and it saves it as an AVI file you can't save it in any other format that's okay it's not a problem it plays in most computers MPEG 4 is the format that we you should be trying to save but this is pretty good and uh, we'll just have a look at it takes a little bit of time and there it is I'm just going to minimize it because it's I've been doing the whole screen as you can see so just grab it. Nice. There it is. Uh, you don't hear any audio because I, I purposely took out the audio myself. I remember how I did that. I went to options and I did took off that thing there. And so, there's your video. It's right there. You don't have to use any sophisticated software. You can um, record straight away onto your screens. It's really good. I, I, I like using it. It hasn't got all the advanced features that you would expect from Camtasia or the next video uh, software that I'll show. Uh, but... Uh, it, it does the job, it produces very quickly videos, uh, it records, you can record it, and of course if you wanted to there are some software available that you can change it into different video formats. Alright, so we, we've seen it, we exit it, there's the video, all I need to do now is to go to YouTube, post that video in, which I like to show you at another stage, just how it's done, so you can just post that video in. I might be able to do it in a moment, uh, and we'll see how we go. And we'll leave it there, so we'll take a stop for that video for this moment. Thank you for listening.